So this chapter of My Hero Academia confirmed one thing, that 100% of the UA students definitely passed the exam. So it kind of goes back to my question once again, how do you guys feel? Because it wasn't completely confirmed last chapter, now we have 100% confirmation. So I kind of got to present it again. How do you feel in regards to that? Again, I still feel the same way. I think that it's okay as long as with the next round, people don't just completely get a 100%. Like we don't get every single UA student passing the next thing, especially seeing as how it looks like the goal golden age superheroes are going to be involved people like Mineta which I hate to pick on Mineta but let's be honest people Mineta he's fucking hilarious his powers is kind of funny but he, he shouldn't be able to be in the finals and he shouldn't be able to maneuver around all this like I don't think 100% of UA students should completely pass every exam but part one of the exam okay fair enough another thing yet again which the past few chapters since I've been reviewing My Hero Academia you can see the change and development in Bakugo especially the mature and him realizing okay Deku even though I look down on him as like he was a piece of shit I gotta recognize now that ultimately no he, he's not a piece of shit anymore and he's starting to believe what Deku told him which originally he thought Deku was just trying to play him he's like yo bro you trying to play me but you can see the maturity and development in Bakugo's character in this chapter when he tells him yo that borrowed power did you make it your own yet it was kind of him basically showing acknowledgement towards him which somebody will you know come and shoot me in the head if I say this but I'm gonna say it anyway definitely reminds me of in the tuning exams when Naruto and Sasuke kind of were having their little troubles or whatever and Sasuke said no Naruto I want to fight you too kind of acknowledging him as finally like yo you're strong okay I give it to you you're not just a piece of shit anywho the few characters in the beginning from I think they were from Shiketsu I'm not sure but the dude that kind of looks like an older Deku which when I first saw him I was like yo that looks like Deku like four or five years from now whatever but the dude that's kind of like evil whatever I think they were some of the people that passed as well because the numbers there was a large number of people that was left I think there was like 18 and then in the end you know there was like what nine or so UA members I needed to pass and there was a couple extra slots so I'm assuming they passed as well and they're probably going to continue to put up a front when they get back in front of the people from UA but ultimately I could potentially see you know theory time that Deku and him are going to go at it because he looks like just a piece of shit older version of Deku not to mention he put up this big front like I'm a good guy meanwhile he's a little shithead it's good to see that at the very least Ida takes his responsibility as class president still very serious and he helps out in this chapter he helps Aoyama realize like yo bro it's all right because Aoyama prior to this chapter you always think like yo he's a flashy motherfucker and stuff like that but you can see that it's kind of to hide and put away his insecurities it seems as though when he said that line in this chapter it was almost as if like well, you want to be equal to everybody so maybe he feels as though he's just a weak piece of shit he's a nobody he's a nothing and that's why he tries to be so flashy so at the very least he can be accepted and recognized as just equal to everybody maybe it's not that whole cockiness that some people might take from it or just like what the fuck is wrong with him maybe it's the fact that he feels so insecure that him giving this light show so to speak is so that he can feel normal and speaking of Mineta earlier in this video it looks as though Mineta's great power or him you know a little ball power or whatever is seemingly at its limit so probably Mineta definitely won't get through the next exam because unless somebody helps him out to get through the finish line it looks as though Mineta's probably gonna be dry for a while and with this exam it looks as though with the golden age people the older people being involved it's gonna be a lot more challenging than the last like i could see inasa passing this shit i could see quite a few other people passing it and getting their little badge or whatever but i could see some of the weaker ones like mineta not getting passed and a few others and with all that being said with this chapter it felt as though they were minor events but if you look at it closely for starters aoyama some more development and getting more insight into his character and what he's truly about so some interesting tidbits there even though he's a kind of side character not really one of the main ones ultimately we know a little more about him big ups to Bakugo. I've been saying it the past couple chapters and yet again big ups to Bakugo for seemingly maturing again like him giving that kind of elbow rub with Deku in a way like yo I respect it or whatever that shows maturity in Bakugo and I like that like people that say he's nothing but a Sasuke clone no like Bakugo he's an interesting character and there's more layers to him than meets the eye he might be an angry asshole but he's smart enough to get props where it's due and he's smart enough to do sometimes what needs to be done so I'd say with this chapter I'd probably give it maybe a six and a half to a seven it was predictable in a sense like that dude i think his name is shindo to be like hey all menacing looking and stuff like that that was pretty predictable but let me know what you guys think what do you think about bakugo's growth did you like it i saw a couple people were a little confused and felt as though it was arrogance or kind of him being salty or whatever it's just that he's an angry asshole but in his angry assholeness he was like yeah Deku, cool shit and 
And if any members at all, the biggest question I would say, who do you think is going to actually make it through and pass the exam from UA? Do you think it's going to be like, obviously, I think it's going to be Deku. I think it's going to be Bakugo. I think it's going to be Todoroki. Everyone else, I'm not really sure, but who knows? Maybe they could throw us a curveball. Maybe it could be like the tuning exams in Naruto where one person that you least expected ultimately gets the badge. And your overall thoughts of the chapter, again, a fine to a good six and a half, seven around there. It was still pretty good stuff. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm FNAF World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.